In this application, we're going to use the Acuity confocal white light sensor to be able to measure a surface of a mouse tendon very accurately. Uh, this is the technology. Here's the controller and the white light passive probe. And what we do is we generate a monochromatic, uh, basically a rainbow here through the lens. And then whatever surface the this uh, measurement range comes in contact with, it bounces back up into a beam splitter. It goes into a little uh, filtering aperture, a little pinhole, and then we have a white light spectrometer in here that is measuring the wavelength or the color of the light coming in. And then, of course, based upon that color, we can uh, we have got it linearized to give a displacement. So, so the advantage is it's a constant spot size. It can measure almost any surface out there from mirrors to clears to wets and it just does a very good job on a lot of difficult surfaces and uh, we also have quite a few different probe sizes anywhere with a range of 130 microns out to 24 millimeters and in this application we're, we use the CL3 which has a range of 1.4 millimeters so it measures roughly at 12.7 uh, inches out to about 14 uh, excuse me 12.7 millimeters out to about 14 millimeters we're gonna have a resolution of 60 nanometers and a linearity of plus or minus 200 nanometers uh, very accurate and it's got a big angle plus or minus 25 degrees so that's that's the probe that we use to measure it um, let me show you real quickly here's the stage we used and on this case we've got a little uh, XY stage that you can see here it's motorized we have uh, glass scale encoders of 0.1 uh, micron a glial glass scale encoders in the X and Y and the Z is manually adjustable and of course we have a little tilt table here so we can adjust it 12 in a micron the uh, to make sure the target is very level so let's go ahead and look at the scan that we did and here's the scan and you can see we we scan three millimeters by three millimeters the target and so in the X direction we took a data point every two microns and then we drop the scan down five microns and go over so we end up collected a huge amount of points uh, just to give a sort of a really rock-solid proof of concept and as you can see in some of these images um, you know this 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 scan was about two hours and 40 minutes so way too long but we just wanted to collect a lot of data and the target did appear to dry out a little bit after about the first well I'd say roughly an hour so here's the little identity card once again three millimeters by three millimeters we took uh, 1501 1501 points along the x-axis and we dropped it down and we did 601 scans or profiles across that so roughly we have a little over 900,000 points that we collected uh, using this technology so let's go ahead and take a look at this just real quickly and this is what that target is going to look in 3d and here we're, where we thought we saw some of the target drying out but as you can see we are getting really good resolution and data of the surface using our uh, white light confocal CL3 probe so no doubt that we're getting good measurements and, and you can kind of get a feel for the actual resolution that we are seeing on this target surface so no doubt that we can make that measurement we just probably have to we would just you know normally in a production environment we would go a lot faster so you wouldn't have to take this long I would imagine you could get 15 20 scans across here in a matter of you know 20 30 seconds probably a second a scan let's come back and look at the 2d measurements on this so let's go ahead and do a profile across here and in the X we're going to have more data but let's let's go ahead and start with the Y so here, here you can see that we're going across these points from north to south and you can see very good data there are no spurious points looks very clean and of course we can come up in here to give you a better idea and we can zoom that up over some of these features and of course this is you know roughly 
let's just orientate this scale put it in heights uh, let's put it absolute so you can see the the detail we're getting let's come and look a little bit and of course with this technology with the push of the button we can of course get surface roughness profile so we're actually calculating to an ISO 4287 uh, on that profile the R surveys um, 1.3 microns of surface roughness across there which is uh, gives you a good idea let's also take a look and let's we can zoom up on this feature too if we wanted to so if there were a certain area where we wanted to look let's try and get this a little um, a little more square and so here you can see the level of detail that we're being able to measure with a light white with a white light confocal probe so just in conclusion that a very good target very good surface we shouldn't have any uh, difficulties in making this measurement